How do you get the most effective results from repurposing content? I'm going to give you some explosive tips to help you make that happen in this video. I'm also going to do a short case study on Alex Harmozy and what he does in his content posting strategy. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mario. I'm a prior naval engineer turned author. I'm the author of two books, one of which is the blueprint to building your online empire. Let's jump straight into this. One piece of content, one, one piece of content is all you need. And I'm going to show you how you can explode that one piece of content into everything that we're going to talk about. I think you'll be excited for this. Don't reinvent the wheel. What am I going to create this week? Should I put shorts? Should I do Instagram? Should I do all of this stuff? It doesn't matter because with this strategy, you only need one, one piece, one piece of content. And if I was starting out, I would recommend YouTube because YouTube is the best way, I think, to connect with the people that are in your community. They can see you. They can see how you teach. They can feel more connected to you rather than if they just read a blog post or they listen to you. Video is the most effective way. What can you do? With the one piece of content. Well, you can break it down into YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, TikTok Reels, LinkedIn, you name it. One piece of content can do all of that for you. You could do whiteboard training on that content. For instance, in this book, I've created a bunch of video a, a bunch of videos that break down stuff in the book. From the things I break down, I got a framework in the book called BYOE, Build Your Online Empire Framework. And in it, there's so many things I can make videos on. I can do a whiteboard training to show you how you can go from, right, lead magnet to making money with an online course or a membership, something like that. So you can get whiteboard trainings from it. Break down in individual tips and go deeper in the tips. You can also turn this content into an ebook that can become the lead magnet for your business and you can build off that. Now, I went and checked out Alex Hermosi's, some of his pages so I can see what he posts. And what I was aiming to do I wanted to see how much new content he posts versus how much he repurposed content. And what I found was interesting. I hope you've been enjoying the video. Thank you for watching. I want to take some time to invite you to my online profits made simple workshop. This workshop teaches you how to make online profits in just five steps. It gives you a 30 day plan step by step. Along with the workshop, you'll get a copy of the online profits made simple ebook. It's a downloadable ebook that this workshop is based off. You'll also get a workbook that includes a checklist so that you can check off milestones as you get them done in your 30 day plan. We lay this out inside the workshop. The workshop is about 35 minutes long and it's only $37. You can sign up now and register for the workshop. The link will be in the description. And now back to the video you were watching. I noticed that he would come out with his long form YouTube videos. He would break the YouTube, the one YouTube video down into shorts. When he broke the YouTube video down into shorts, those shorts would have captions on them. Over on Instagram, he would have that same video except for the video would have a like a Twitter quote across it and he would take a Twitter quote from that video sometimes he would just post just a quote with some music behind it sometimes he would post a quote with him talking behind it it's from the one video I noticed that everything on Instagram had a quote or a video like a reel an Instagram reel but he didn't use the same format on YouTube on YouTube, he didn't have any quotes. He just had just the YouTube shorts, which is pretty much the same thing as an Instagram reel. He repurposed all of that. Then I checked him out on LinkedIn. Same thing. He reposted the exact same thing that he had on Instagram. So what I'm saying is the one piece of content, you don't have to overthink this. I recently started paying someone to do my shorts and I I've saw a great ROI on that, on that. And also it gives me some of my time back. So that's going to be one of my recommendations. Now, I don't know if if Alex turned any of these things into an ebook, but he has three books. What I'm telling you is from that one piece of content, if you created an ebook, you can do that in like five minutes. I have a video that covers that. I've helped over 40,000 people write an ebook in under 10 minutes. You can check that video out. It'll be at the top. This is, this is bananas. One piece of content. Now, out of all that content you create from this one piece, where do you send them? How do you use that strategically? Now, I've already mentioned it before. You can turn that content into an ebook. Use it as a lead magnet. Where do you send them? To your email list. Build your email list. The social media platforms have algorithms. Your email list is yours. No barrier. You can just talk to 
your people. Right now, if I'm if I'm having a discussion with you, you two might decide one day that, you know what, I'm going to whatever they decide to do. And then the algorithm might make it to where you can't get this message. Whereas if I had you on uh, my email list, I could just send you a message. You see the importance of building a list and you can use the one piece of content to get you an asset that you can use to build your email list. All this stuff works together. That's the game. That's the explosion that you can have with the one piece of content if you use it correctly, if you have the right strategy. Now, if you want to find out the right strategy with that, you can use it in your value ladder. You create products that you will send people up. And I talk about that inside this book. You can get that book for free. The link will be in the description and it will show you how to use that one piece of content to break it up, how you can use the ebook as an entry into your world. Now, granted, this has to be good now. You should take some time when you're doing that one piece of content. And if you start that way, all your content is going to trend in that way. And people will be able to see that, hey, this this person is creating valuable content with me. And you can build a community off of that. Don't overthink it. Just create the one piece of content and chop it up and use it everywhere. It doesn't matter if you repost. People have short attention spans. Repost it. That's the game. And it's explosive because what will happen is people are going to start to notice that well, they'll start to say things like, this guy's everywhere. I'm seeing this, I'm seeing this dude everywhere on every platform that, I, that I'm on. And it's not that you're doing anything, you know, special. You're just breaking up the content you have and placing it strategically in other, other places. That's what Alex does. That's what all the major people do is outsource this stuff. They make the content and then they outsource it. They have somebody edit it. They have somebody put it on all the platforms. The sooner you can do that. That would be my recommendation. The sooner you can do that, outsource as soon as you can. I got so much time back just from shorts. It's time consuming to edit videos. With the perfectionism thing, I'm still finding it a little bit hard to trust people. But I have found somebody that I like who does shorts. And that's all you got to do. Also, you got to remember with with reposting is that people are online at different times of the day. So maybe the one you posted in the morning, they didn't see it. So when you post it again in the afternoon or something like that on a different platform, you just don't know. They could be on different platforms. They could be at work, it, all different kinds of things. So just repost. The short form content has a short shelf life, but you can use it in other ways and give it more life. Then you rinse and repeat with the next piece of content. Do you all see how easy this is? Do you track how all of this work is starting to work together? And it's not hard. The hardest thing might be the time that you have to give, but. If you don't have a lot of time, stop scrolling, watching Netflix. If you want to build your business, you're going to have to give up some time. And then you can give up the time on the front end. And then on the back end, after you build this thing out, then you'll have more time. You'll have more freedom. But you got to build it first. This is what I found to work really great. My recommendation is to outsource everything that you can that will save you time in your business. So you have time to focus on things like building a course, coming up with ideas solving problems because that is what's going to bring you money if you can't pay someone find one of these teenagers that's real good with social media that's always got their phone in their hand and say hey you know i'll pay you a little bit i don't know what you can pay a teenager but you could, they'll accept anything and they're doing something that they already like doing then you can build a relationship with that guy and as he gets older he can become your social media manager i'm just Throwing ideas out there got to be innovative as an entrepreneur i think it's important to learn how to do these things on your own. With me doing my own content, I started to learn a lot about Final Cut Pro. I started to learn about all these different programs and how I like my content so that when I send this off to someone and I hire them, I can tell them, hey, this is how I want it. These are the fonts I want to use. This is the color scheme I want to use. You learn about all these things. So I think it's worth starting to do some of the stuff on your own first, especially when you are just starting and you don't have a lot of money. And then outsource later, but outsource as soon as you can. Now, what do you do with all this repurposed content in the grand scheme of things in building your business? It's a good question. And I answer that question inside this book. You can get it. One of these videos I was talking, I had something in my teeth. <laughs> I didn't see it until I went to go edit it. <laughs> that was sucked to, to record a bunch of content and have to go back and do it because you had some meat stuck in your teeth or something, huh? <laughs> That's pretty funny. And thank you if you're here for watching. I do appreciate you and I value your time. Thank you for spending it with me. 